going to talk about multiplying a binomial times a binomial and we're going to do that by using the distributive property is another way to explain it and so if we multiply a binomial times a binomial and I'm going to show you like several different ways you can pick the best way is you can set up a horizontal distributive setup so basically what you're going to do is just like before sometimes we have x times x plus 4. If we have x times x plus 4, what's going to happen is we would distribute it. So on this one, x times x plus 4, we know that that, actually let me put it over here, x times x plus 4 is going to give me x squared plus 4x. Then we're going to go back and we're going to multiply everything by 2. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to do the, the distributive property twice. So then if we multiply this, we get plus 2x plus 8. Then we go back and we add our like, like terms. So when we add our like terms, we get x squared plus 6x plus 8. So it's the distributive property, which we've talked about before, but it's just that you do it twice. So you multiply by x, then you go back and you multiply by 2. Okay, so this is just showing it again, multiple ways. So, pause the video and try this one. So, you should have tried it. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by x. So we got x times x minus 4. Then we're going to go back and we're going to multiply by 3 times x minus 4. So we're going to distribute. So we're going to get x squared minus 4x. Then we're going to go and we're going to multiply by 3. So we get plus 3x, multiply by 3 again, minus 12. Then we combine our like terms. So we got x squared minus x minus 12. That would be my answer. Now, some people like the box method. And this is how the box method works. First of all, obviously, you make a little box and you make it a two by two box because we're multiplying a binomial times a binomial. And so in this one, we put our x plus two here and our x plus four here. And just like back in the day, we used to like do our multiplication table. So we'd say x times x which is x squared. We multiply x times 2, which is 2x. Now, if you notice, that is basically the same thing as distributing our x. So we got x squared plus 2x. Then to fill in this little box, you're going to say 4 times x, which is 4x, which is the same thing as, it's just a different way to organize it. So you get 4x plus 8. And here, if you do 4 times 2, you get 8. Now, the, um, the main thing that the box does is it helps you line things up. So this diagonal right here, those are like terms. So when we go to simplify it, we're going to get x squared. We're going to add those two together because they're like terms, plus 6x plus 8. So that would be my answer. So you can use the box method. So try this one using the box method. Pause the video. Okay, now I should be back. I'm going to make a little box. My box does not look good. Oh my goodness. My box is sideways. I'm actually going to cheat for my box. Sorry. So I'm going to use this. So I'm going to go boom. It's a big box. So on the top, can I get it to look right? So if that was my problem, one of them I'd put across the top. So let, and it doesn't matter which one you put. So you're going to have x plus 4. Here we have x minus 6. 
So then we'd have x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Negative 6 times x is negative 6x. And then negative 6 times 4 is negative 24. Our like terms are on the diagonal. So our answer is going to be x squared minus 2x minus 24. So that's going to be our answer. Now the last way is the way that I always teach it. And it's basically the, just the distributive property again. But it's just a different way to look at it. So I'm going to make it bigger so you can really see it because it seems like it is bigger. It's too soon. Let's do 200. Whoa. So when I go to look at this one, this is called the FOIL method. Okay. So the FOIL method, and I think I made it a little too big. Let me go back. Make it at least go back to 150. So the FOIL method talks about first, outer, inner, last. Okay. And this is the one that most people do talk about most. So when we do first, outer, inner, last, we're basically doing the same thing as we did before in that we come up with the same thing. So we take the x and we multiply it first times first, which gives me our x squared. Then we multiply the x at times the 4. So outer times outer, these are the numbers that are on the outside. So that's going to give me plus 4x. Inner times inner, now we're multiplying both of them by 2. So you can kind of see it's the same thing we've been doing. So then we do inner times inner, which is also 2x. And then last times last, these are the last terms of the binomial, which is the same thing as the distributive property, property plus 8. We're going to combine our like terms so we get x squared plus 6x plus 8. Okay. Let's try another one using FOIL. So again, this is first. So let's say we have x plus 5 times x minus 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the first term of each binomial. So if we multiply the first times the first, we get x squared. Then here is outer. So now we're going to go back and we're going to multiply the outer times the outer, which is basically what we're doing is we're multiplying both of the x and the negative 2. We're multiplying by x. So outer times outer is going to give me negative 2x. The next one is the i, and the i stands for inner times inner. So they're going to be the two numbers on the inside. Also, it's basically just like we're multiplying by the 5. So inner times inner is going to give me 5x. And then the L stands for last times last. So the last times last is also like we're multiplying by the 5 again. So 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Our like terms are here. So we got x squared plus 3x minus 10. That would be my answer. Okay. One more. Try this one. x plus 3 times x minus 9. Okay, so we're going to do first times first. So first times first is going to give me x squared. Outer times outer is going to give me negative 9x. Inner times inner is going to give me 3x. And then last times last is going to give me negative 27. We combine our like terms, so we got x squared minus 6x minus 27. Sorry. Okay, let's do one more, just make sure. So we've got x plus 6 times x minus 3. So we're going to do first times first which is x times x, which is x squared, outer times outer, which is negative 3x, inner times inner, which is plus 6x, so that's an i, and then last times last, which is negative 18. We're going to add these together, so we get x squared plus 3x minus 18. 